Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Friday, April 27th, the Friday of the fourth week of Easter. Today's readings are from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, and from the Gospel of John, chapter 14. Today's reflection is from Father Ed Benelite, a priest of the Diocese of Youngstown, Ohio. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. Lord Jesus, you raise us to A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised to our fathers, He has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my Son, this day I have begotten you. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, 
I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the Bread of Life. A reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Ed Benelite, a priest of the Diocese of Youngstown, Ohio. Paul tells the Jewish people and leaders that they did not recognize Jesus, the Messiah of God, when he came because they did not understand the Scriptures. Even though they listened to the Scriptures week after week as they read them in the synagogue service, they did not understand what God the Father was doing, and so they failed to recognize his Son when he came. God the Father promised their ancestors a Messiah, And he fulfilled that promise in Jesus, as God raised him from the dead. But their eyes of faith were blinded. They did not understand. They did not recognize the promised one of God. Again, today I encourage you to read daily the scriptures. Come to know God's faithfulness to his word. Stay close to Christ in your reading. For as he says in our gospel reading today, He is our way to the Father. He gives us the truth of his Father's love and salvation, and he is our eternal life. Let us read the scriptures to understand the work of the Father, the love of the Son, so that we may recognize Christ one day when he brings us into the eternal kingdom of his Father and our Father. And for Living Bread Radio, this is Father Ed Benelite. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com, where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts. Amen.
many rooms in my father's house. Do not be afraid and have no doubt. I am going there to prepare a place. Come and follow me. Come and you will see. Come and take your rest in God's safe embrace. I am the way, the truth, the life. Those who believe in me will never die, will never die, but live again. Take your rest in God's name.